In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a regular USB pen drive into a fully functional Android TV stick. This setup supports Google TV and runs on Android 13, giving you the ability to plug it into any PC, whether it's a laptop or desktop, and instantly transform it into an Android TV experience. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in. To begin, make sure you have a pen drive with at least 8 GB of storage. Open your browser and search for Partition Tool Wizard. Click on the first link that appears, then hit the download button and choose the free edition. Once the download is complete, close the browser, open your file manager and head to the downloads section. Run the Partition Tool Wizard as administrator, click OK, and continue with the free edition. Uncheck the options for customer experience and partition shadow, then proceed with the installation until it finishes. Click Finish and the partition tool will launch automatically. Now, insert your pen drive. If you have any important data on it, make sure to back it up elsewhere. Right-click on the pen drive and delete the existing partition. It will now show as unallocated space. Create a new partition. Set the size to 500 megabyte. Choose FAT32 as the file system and rename it to boot. Click OK. Now, with the remaining space on your pen drive, go ahead and create another partition. If you're working with a larger pen drive or planning to store additional files later, feel free to allocate all the leftover space to this partition. Don't worry, you can always resize it after the installation if needed. Set the file system to XFAT and name this partition Android TV. Click OK, then apply the changes. Next, go to your download section and extract the Android TV zip file. You can find this zip file on my Telegram channel. The link is in the description. Choose Extract Files, create a new folder, and click OK. Once the extraction is complete, open the Android TV folder. Right-click on the ISO file and select Mount. If you don't see the Mount option, just extract it using WinRayR. After mounting, select all the files except system.sfs and copy them to the boot drive. Then go back to the folder, copy the system file, and paste it into the Android TV drive. Inside the Android TV folder, you'll find another folder containing the storage zip file. In my case, I'm using a 32 gigabyte pen drive, so I'll go with the 16 gigabyte storage option. Right click on the specific size and extract it here. You can also extract directly to the Android TV drive, but this method is slightly faster. Once extracted, copy the contents to the Android TV drive. Just a heads up, pasting might take a while. Now, restart your system. During the boot process, press the boot key and select the pen drive to boot from. You'll see multiple Google TV options with different kernel versions. If the first one doesn't work, try the others. I'm choosing the first one. It runs a few commands, and if everything goes well, you'll see the Google TV logo. Use the arrow keys to select your language. You can set it up quickly using your Android phone, but I'll skip that for now. Connect to Wi-Fi, log in with your Google account, accept the terms, and schwanz. D-skip Google Assistant. I'm also choosing not to share my location. Skip Android Improvements and Google Assistant again. Choose your Android TV name and keep pressing enter until you're redirected to the home screen. As you can see, Google TV is now perfectly installed and running from our pen drive. We have some pre-installed apps to enhance the experience. Let me update all the apps via the Play Store. In settings, you'll find options to shut down or restart. If you're facing any display or sound issues, you can tweak some settings here. The security patch is August 2025 and the Android version is 13. YouTube isn't available by default, so let me download it from the Play Store. Sometimes it shows a black screen. Just press the Windows button to return to the home screen. YouTube videos play fine in normal quality. To control volume, use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. Multiple languages are supported and video quality up to 1440p works smoothly. However, 4K videos seem to lag, especially at 60 FPS. 
Switching to 720p resolves the issue. I don't think this is an Android TV OS problem. It's likely due to my Lenovo IdeaPads hardware. To check your hardware, search CPU in the Play Store and install the CPU Info app. Let's open it. It shows a dual-core Ryzen 3 3200U processor, though I'm not sure why it lists four cores. GPU shows integrated graphics. RAM is displayed correctly. Storage shows the installed drive and internal storage as 16 GB and display is running at 60 Hz. Now, let me test this on my Dell Optiplex 3060. Remove the pen drive from the laptop and insert it into the desktop. Boot from the pen drive and select the top kernel. In CPU info, it shows Intel i3 8th gen with four actual cores. GPU is Intel UHD Graphics 630. RAM is 16GB. Monitor supports 100Hz, but it's running at 60Hz, no worries. Let's check YouTube 4K playback. YouTube was automatically uninstalled, so I'll reinstall it. Now, let's play a 4K video. This time, playback is very smooth, thanks to the improved hardware. Oh yeah, that's it for today's video. If you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.